guys welcome back to my channel so i hope you guys are doing amazing <laughs> um, thank you guys for all the subscribing the liking thank you guys for watching my videos um so yeah okay i don't know why my hair is in a mess okay that's fine i've had a very busy day and actually i'm really tired but i did want to <laughs> do this video to put it up later so i am pre-filming of course so yeah today's video is gonna be like all my current favorites or products that I've been loving for the past three months and products that I would totally repurchase so yeah so let's get started um first thing though I don't have a specific order but I'm gonna do makeup then I'm gonna do like all my skincare so yeah let's get into it so first off I do want to do my primer okay yeah so but I have to show you the exfoliator first so I do go in with the Dr. Brandt um pore perfecting exfoliator i do use this when i'm going like special occasions or i'm gonna have a very long day and it's gonna be hot outside which is basically every day in guyana so yeah <laughs> when i'm going on special occasions i do use this exfoliator and i swear it's amazing i did get this in a boxy charm actually and i would totally repurchase this so i do go in with this first i'm gonna put this at a back actually and this is my best friend the professional by benefit i'm sure you guys have used this or you guys have heard of it so this is my go-to of course so these two are the perfect combination for persons who have like oily skin combination skin it's perfect for first so foundation i do use i do use these two so this is the fancy beauty um this is a soft matte yeah this is a soft matte pro filter i have been using this for over a year now i'd say and i don't use it alone just because i don't know i feel it doesn't look as good as when i use it with my nars and this is the natural radiant long wear foundation so i do mix these two together one is dark this one's a little bit darker than this one but to find my perfect shade i have to mix these two when i use this one alone it tends to look way lighter and i know sometimes on my videos i do look lighter on the face i don't know i need to get good lighting though i really do so yeah um these two are my must-haves i used to use the um born this way by Too Faced, and i loved it like it was amazing but i didn't have the correct shade and they weren't finding any that matched me perfectly so i did switch and i started using these two i did try mixing it with the nars and it it no it didn't work so no don't mix your two face with your nars but these two are amazing combinations they work amazing like i used it today and it's pretty darn good i love it i do so those two I would totally repurchase, but I am looking into trying out new foundations. So if you guys have any recommendation, do comment below. Next up. Oh, I see my settings first. I'm going to tell you about that. So this is the All Nighter by Urban Decay. So there's like barely anything left in here, but um, this is like the best setting spray I've used in like forever. So I did start out with sample, of course, and... I did upgrade to the full size. It's in that little um, cupboard that I showed you where I store everything. So yeah, it's in there. But <coughs> I do love this. This is like my go-to. So yeah, I would totally repurchase it. Actually, I did. I'm not going to say that I'm going to repurchase it. But um, I do have this. And it's amazing. Like, And for persons who want to try this out. or um, Actually, it works for all skin types. Like, It doesn't matter. But do try the sample size before you get the full size because not everyone likes the same product. So I use that. Oh, this is like my favorite. The Fresh Lip Balms. This is in Sugar Poppy. And it gives... I am using it on my lips actually. I did have it on the Pixie Lipsticks and I hate it. I, I honestly don't like the formula. It's a beautiful shade though. Let me show you. So it comes in a cute packaging, of course. And yeah, I am. I'm, so the camera just fell off. But yeah, this is what the shade looks like. It's 
honestly a very pretty shade but the lipstick the formula it's i don't i don't like it it dries my lip out so much so this is my go-to i use it all the time i swear like it matches this look it's it looks nice it's a tinted lip balm which is me so that's it right there it's amazing it looks good on the lips i love it so i do my stripes now it's a lot with it like look at that it's amazing you don't even care for lipstick when you use this <laughs> so i do have that and for lipsticks my current favorites are just three of them actually i did get them recently too so i do use the kylie i am going to show you guys the shade i got this at ulta actually i thought i wasn't gonna like her lipsticks but they're pretty nice so this is the Kylie one that I have. I don't use it alone though. Um, and of course it came with a pencil. Forgot to show you guys. I do line my lips with the pencil. The only thing I hate with the pencil is that you can't sharpen it. Like, I mean, her formula is amazing with the lip, lip liners. And that's what the lip liner looks like. And I do tend to mix it with my Kat Von D lipstick. It's in the shade Lolita and I love it. I swear, anytime I dress up, I... I literally use this lipstick and I do mix it with anyone, but I love it. It's it's like the perfect nude. It has a hint of pink. Like, it's so amazing. It looks perfect on the lips. Like, it's an everyday shade. So, that's it right there. I do mix these two. I do apply this in the center and this goes everywhere. And I do use her lip liner. Her lip liner is currently my favorite. And I do blend with my NARS sometimes. And of course, I put it in the center and I put this. Or I put this on the entire lips and I use this in the center. But this NARS lipstick is amazing. I've been getting into nudes a lot lately. So, wait, oh, there it is. This is. No. Yeah. That is. Is that it? Oh my god. No, that's not it. I showed you the wrong thing. I swear. This is it. So they're pretty similar shades. They can go together. So these are my current favorite lips. And I do use my cavity. They're amazing. But I would recommend that you totally go for this. This is amazing. I didn't regret getting it. Like I tried it for my cousin once. And it looked so beautiful. And I was like, hey, the next time I'm getting it. I'm totally getting it. So I got it and I love it. Next up. Um, eyeliners so my current obsession and I did use it today is my fancy beauty one this one came with the um ugh, with the primer yes and the tip is amazing like look at that it has the perfect tip to do the perfect eye so mine is like wiped out already I think this is supposed to be waterproof though Long wear liquid liner. It doesn't say if it's waterproof, but I don't know. I thought it was. I don't know if I'm mistaken or it is. Please do let me know. But this is my favorite. Like, I'm obsessed with this. I've never had one. I do use this one here. But the tip is not as precise as the fancy one. But this works amazing too. I've been using this like forever. And I've only, like, today, honestly, I've started using the fancy one. But this is by L'Oreal. I don't know. I didn't find this exact one. I did find another one that's L'Oreal, but it's not this one. But I have been using this for quite some time, and I would totally use it every day. But after I tried the Fenty today, I must say, I'm not going to go back to this one as much, but I do have spares in her eyeliners. In L'Oreal eyeliners, right? So these two are totally my go-to. Totally would repurchase the L'Oreal. I haven't been repurchasing for quite some time but I'm, I'm not finding the exact same one that I have here but I do love L'Oreal products and of course the Better Than Sex Mascara excuse me I don't know why I'm burping so much oh my god so this is the Better Than Sex one um this is like amazing I need to get the full size because this is a mini so I do need to get it in the full size like I used it today I didn't use any lashes big lashes on I don't know you guys can't really see it can you but um it does work amazing and it's waterproof 
to, to get it. I swear, you know what? As we're talking about lash, I'm gonna show my lashes. So, I am using these by, I'm, I'm gonna say Fenty, sorry, by Sephora. These are in the number 33 Swanky. And I have been using this in like forever. So these are my favorite go-to lashes. They're in number 33 Swanky. They're by Sephora. And I did label them left and right. So whatever. Don't don't want to piss at me for doing that. I, th I bet most of you do it. But yeah, I did do that. And it's amazing. I swear I love these. They're natural but dramatic at the same time. But um, they are my favorite. I love them. So I did repurchase um you guys would have seen in my other video i do have like two and they're actually in the number 33 also so for brows i do have two brow products that i have been using so you guys know my all-time favorite is the anastasia and i mean as you can see it's yeah i've used it a lot so i would totally repurchase this because when i started doing makeup this is the first thing i bought that was hers and it works amazing i would totally purchase and i love 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 it and i've currently started using this one by mac it has a little bit of a shimmer to it i don't know if you can see it but um i do have it on right now and it did a pretty good job i'm satisfied with it i love it but i will totally recommend this like i mean they're both my favorites but i'm more obsessed with this one like, I would use this if I'm going on a special occasion. It makes my brows look so much different. But this one, I would use it like an everyday everyday brow gel or pomade. So, yeah, those are my favorites. And for, I think I should do my concealer. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I do use a dual glue. I did use this one for quite some time, but I am using this one right now. It does have, like, the brush to apply which i wanted so bad because i messed my lashes up with this one so i have been using this for quite some time but i am starting to use this one so i've totally purchased and as i just showed you the glue i do use this applicator i got it from amazon for like four dollars and it's amazing just because it holds your lashes in here like so good and just put it on like this is like for persons who are frustrated with lashes like me i do love them but they're a pain in the ass to put on so i would recommend getting that for concealers so i think a few videos ago you guys saw me use the ellie girl pro concealer and i have been using that for quite some time but i currently got the royale inflammable fullwear and i'm obsessed they're amazing the coverage is bomb i mean they are so good i didn't expect this to be so good i've never tried their concealers i don't know if they had before i'm not sure but this is the first one i've got from l'oreal and it works amazing i did get one in a lighter shade and one in a darker shade so the lighter one of course i go in under my eyes and the darker one i do do my brows when i'm just doing like errands right around the house or whatever and when i'm doing more glam i go in the lighter shade so these two are must-haves like i would totally recommend it and i got like I saved two dollars so hey who doesn't like a good saving right so would totally recommend getting those two and P. Louise please come on let's talk about this 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 works amazing like I didn't think that it would when I got it and I tried it it looks amazing I did use it to, oh my god I did use it to carve out my crease and these like I don't know it gives your eyeshadows like so much more color to it like if you're doing color looks totally recommend using this so i am using this to carve on my crease currently i haven't been using concealer and you guys know i've used concealer like forever so i did start using this and i totally recommend it and i am totally gonna repurchase when this is done but hey it lasts a long time because the tube is pretty full and i have been using it for like week two weeks now so yeah so i am gonna get into palettes actually and then i'm gonna do powders so for palettes, actually I'm going to start with this. So you guys know I've been using Becca highlighters since like forever. They're amazing. Like, look at this. Actually, I'm going to I'm gonna pop it on my hands for you guys to see. Look at that shade. It is amazing. Like, I love her 
highlighter is amazing this is a mini one i am gonna invest in a larger size just because i'm gonna hit pan soon i don't know if you guys can see but i am gonna hit pan soon with this one and i do have a backup mini but i would totally purchase and get the larger size or the full size so i have been trying to get a hold of a like a i don't know a mini palette but it has like all the neutrals that I would want and a little bit of hint of shimmer in it and I did find one which is by Wet n Wild and I was surprised at the formula to be honest because I didn't think it would be you know as pretty or as pigmented as it is but look at it it's amazing it has the orange it has browns it has this like gold I don't know let me see if you guys oh there we go so you have that one then you have a bronzy gold brown sorry I don't, it's not showing on camera I don't know can you guys see it but it is the shade right here so you have this and you have the gold to play with and of course for persons who are my complexion you didn't do need an orange transition shade so it has the perfect color in here and this palette has been my go-to whenever I'm traveling or on a lazy day where I don't feel like to do much makeup I do go into this palette so I totally repurchased this when it hits pan, or let's face it, whose eyeshadows actually hit pan, and I need a new one because, like, you know, we don't use as much, or I just don't use as much. But um, yeah, I would totally recommend getting this for persons who want the perfect neutrals palette. Do invest in this, and it's pretty affordable, right? Because it's drugstore. So I have that one, and I have one more, which is my Jupiter Space that I've got recently, and I mean, look at the shades. And I swear this is the best eyeshadow eyeshadows that I've used. Like the pigments and it's like the pigmentation is amazing. The formula is so buttery. It's oh my god. Like look at this. Look at this shade. Oh my god, my hands are running out. My hand is running out of space. I'm gonna put it here. Like look at that. It, it's so buttery. You wouldn't believe it. Like, I'm surprised I've been wanting to get hold of these palettes in like forever though. So this has currently been my obsession. I didn't use this one today though. I used one of my other palettes, but I do use this. Like you can see I really did dig into that orange. <laughs> the red, sorry, and the orange. And I did use the brown. I used the black the other day when I was going to my cousin's baby shower, but I didn't film my makeup just because we were driving and the road is like so bad so i didn't film because the camera wouldn't focus anywhere so but yeah um for persons who are now getting started with makeup do get this palette and it does have a little bit of color like the shimmers are amazing if you do want to play around with a little bit of color you have this one and do invest in this for persons who are now starting makeup anyone is fine but this one does have more shimmers to it persons who are into shimmers if you're not just get this one because you do have two shimmers to play around with so i do love that the last palette i want to show you is my country palette and by now you guys know that is anastasia and this is it right here i don't know if she sells her contour um powders like singles i don't know i will have to look into that though but as you guys can see i do use a lot of it i do use this shade and this shade i do play with a little bit of this whenever i'm feeling like it, it, like i'm hitting pan with these two though like i don't know if you guys can see hitting pan with these two not so much this and i don't use any of these at the top i mean they're pretty but they're i don't know i don't like the formula of it it's a little like powdery like i don't, I don't like powdery i like buttery and it does have a highlighter and a banana powder and I don't know what this, I don't, I'm not sure what it is, if it's just a powder or something, I guess. But, um, her contour is amazing. The contour powders are the bomb. So, totally purchasing, but, um, if you guys find that she does have these selling singles, please let me know, because I do want to get these two shades. They're amazing. I do want to try different contours and see if I'm going to find another one. Um... I've heard people talking about Too Faced and Becca, so I think hey, I am going to try those two, but currently this is my obsession. So I'll be getting back this palette if I don't find the singles to it. For compact powder, I do use my Sephora one, 
I recently got this too. It's pretty amazing. For my under eyes and carving up my contour, I do use my Sasha Buttercup. I've had this like forever. And I love this powder. You guys saw in my other video that I have the Laura Mercier. But I haven't opened this because when is this gonna finish? Like, there's so much in there. But I do love this. It would totally be a repurchase if I didn't get my Laura Mercier. So for persons who are against trying with makeup, do invest in this if you have a budget because this powder works amazing. So first off, for taking off my makeup, I do use baby wipes. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else does that, but I do. And I do go in with makeup removal wipes. It can be any brand. I do have a specific brand that I like. And I do go in with this cleansing water. I would like to get this to focus, but yeah. I do go in with this, and as you can see, it's like halfway through. So that's my favorite. <clears throat> but for facial scrub or exfoliator, I do go in with this St. Knives. It's um, coconut and coffee scrub. So I do, um, I do, I used to use this every day, but um, I am using it like twice a week now. So this is amazing. I used to use the oats one, but I didn't find it for quite some time, so I did switch to this. And I'm loving it. It's, I mean, the smell is heavenly. It's like so amazing. I wish you guys could smell this right now. So I do exfoliate with this at least twice a week. Or at least I try to do. <laughs> For cleanser, I do use the Thatcha. Um, I haven't started using the larger one. I did use this recently. But I am using this one. The Thatcha one. I do have a larger size there. You guys would have seen it in my tour. But I am using this. I would totally repurchase this, by the way. It works amazing. For moisturizer. So there's like two that I've been loving lately. So the Glow Recipe. It's a watermelon. Yeah, watermelon glow pink juice moisturizer. You just put up the cap and it's like a pump bottle. Like, yeah, it's a pump bottle and it smells like watermelon i love it it doesn't have like that high scented like it's not highly scented but um it works amazing for any skin type by the way um it's water based so it's not gonna get your skin really sticky or anything i had i have had problems where <laughs> i've tried moisturizer and my skin feels miserable like it's so tacky like i hate tacky like i prefer it to be smooth and silky so i've been using this i recently purchased this um i think i put it up on my channel did i i did with a sephora haul yes i did so i got this and i've been loving this with total purchase i think you guys saw the next bottle that's in my drawer so i did buy two so yeah i did get that and this came in a set of course so it's um by fresh it's, oh, you could smell it through there, but it smells rosy. Like, it's really nice. I really love it. I've tried it, like, twice already, and I love it. It's, like, it, it's, is it cream based? I'm not sure. It, it is cream based, but it doesn't get your skin, like, like, when you put it on and you rub it into your skin, it feels so smooth. And it smells like rose which I love. I love it. I love it. So it does feel like it's not sticky. Like my finger's not sticking. It feels really nice. Um, so I do use these two. I do switch it up sometimes. Use this one, sometimes use this one, of course. So I do switch it up a lot. And I have this as, um, I think I use my points actually. And I got this little mini tea tree balancing oil. It's not focusing on it. There we go. So yeah. I got this with my points and I swear this thing is so relaxing like I wasn't gonna try it because I said you know what maybe it's not gonna work but I applied it on my skin like on my face and I was so surprised like it worked so amazing but it's so hell expensive like but I would repurchase it when this is finished I will because it feels amazing it even smells amazing lastly oh I do have two products now actually so for lip scrub I do use the fresh one that's going down um, I do use it every time I use makeup um, and I use like liquid mattes I do scrub my lips after just because I don't know why I don't like lipstick stains 
and it does make my lip feel really good and as usual I did tell you guys that I do blend with this after her so yeah it's by fresh and I have been obsessed with fresh products recently I've gotten quite a few from their brand actually so this is their lip scrub and I would repurchase this because I've tried elf ones and they're not as good I felt the um MAC cosmetics one and it I don't know I don't like it so I would totally purchase this lastly dry cream by origins so I have been wanting to try this in like forever I want to get this open show you guys what it looks like <coughs> So it has, okay, it's not sheen. <coughs> so it has like a little sheen to it. Okay, let's see if it's gonna focus on it. I should try it on my hand. Shit. So it has like it's like a pinky color. I'm not sure if it's gonna show all the shine though. Like it's amazing. Like when you put it on, it's so silky too. Like I'm surprised, but it's it's not showing the sheen. But um, it smells amazing though. And I've only started using it last night, so I wouldn't say that it depuffed or bite my under eyes, but I would totally purchase it just because the last one I had was a tart one, and let's just say it didn't do much. So I am going to repurchase this because I've heard good reviews on it, and I did like how my under eyes felt so hydrating, and I don't know, you just know when you find something that works for you, your skin loves it. So I have been using this. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Um, this is the end of it. There wasn't a lot of products, or maybe there was. I don't know. You guys tell me. But um, I do hope you guys enjoyed it. And please don't forget to subscribe and like my videos and to give it a thumbs up. I do hope you guys have an enjoyable day or a weekend whenever this video goes up. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.